Welcome to rainy Mount Tsukuba, where I'm here to drive a car that I am considering buying for when I'm ready to get a parking space, etc. Because I do kind of want a car right now. Uh, so this is a car that I have reviewed before and comment on about a lot because I do really like it. However, this is the first time I've driven it in a particular spec. So it's right behind me. This is the Mazda 2 slash Demio. However, this one's a bit special. This is the 15 motorsports based model. And it comes with a six speed manual transmission. And yeah, I've driven the automatic versions of the Mazda 2 before and loved it. However, I said if I was gonna buy one, it would have to be manual. And I definitely wanted to try a manual one out before I go and commit any money to it, so I was able to find someone who was willing to rent out his six-speed manual Mazda 2. And I'm here on Mount Tsukuba to drive around some twisty roads to see if it's a good car and worth my money. Okay, so what exactly is a 15 MB Mazda 2? Well, it's a regular Mazda 2 in the absolute most basic rental car spec that you can imagine, except it's even more Spartan than a rental car. Like there's none of the safety features on here. There's no reverse camera. There's no blind spot monitoring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, this one has been spec with a couple optional extras. So for example, it's usually this hard plastic bit here. There's a soft touch pleather going on, and there actually is a navigation screen on this. I was told by the owner of this car that he bought this used, and the previous owner put this navigation screen on here in place of the little AM FM radio. And it doesn't really work well, because a regular Mazda 2 with navigation spec has these controls down here to run this screen and these controls aren't here and yes it's a touch screen but at the same time there's like a home button a back button etc that needed to be used from here and aren't on the touch screen so this thing has been fairly useless um, these seats are very basic cloth seats that are only found in rental car spec cars and the 15 mb uh, just pretty much this is a very basic Mazda 2 inside. In terms of other things, this has a six-speed manual, and when this car first came out, manual Mazda 2s were only offered with a 1.3 and a five-speed manual in Japan. Except the 15 MBs, they had a nice 1.5 liter engine and a six-speed manual, just to make it that little bit more sporting for when you take it to the track. The 1.5 liter engine is now available across the range for new Mazda 2s. However, this one is tuned for premium gasoline, which gives it about seven extra horsepower. So this is rated to about 116, 117 horsepower. It's not really a big difference, but the engine does feel like it revs smoother. That much can be sure. Uh, see anything else about this car that makes it a 15 MB uh, I think the six-speed manual on this compared to a six-speed manual on a regular manual 2 first through third gear is shorter so you get slightly brisker acceleration and that's about it uh, like the brakes and the suspension I'm told are pretty much the same as a 1.5 liter Mazda 2 that you can get now and what Mazda was basically saying with this car is Here's a car with a slightly basic interior and no extra features on it. And we're gonna offer it to you with a slightly more powerful engine and a nice six speed manual. Please strip it out and turn it into a race car. It's actually really cool that they do offer that to their customers here. Um, but at the same time, I think if I was to buy one for myself, since I'm not gonna go race it, I'd just get a standard 1.5 liter Mazda 2 with the extra daily amenities just to make it a bit more usable throughout regular life.
So something that people don't realize about Mazdas is they're low key, just incredibly good driver's cars. People always talk about handling, etc. But there's these small details that you just don't realize until someone tells you about a Mazda where you just go like, ah, okay. Yeah, it's really quite nice. So the driving position of this car is really good. And what I mean by really good is everything is well within reach. Like all the controls here, you don't even have to look, you don't have to reach over, it's all there. You can change the AC, you can do anything you want, just using the force. Next, the shifter is right next to the steering wheel. If I need to change gears, it's right there. Don't need to move too far, don't need to spend too much time off the steering wheel. It's really, really nice. So Mazda always talks about this Jinbai Tai thing, which means horse and rider as one. And this Mazda 2 delivers that. Like, I thought that was something that only really applied to the Mazda MX-5. No, it applies perfectly well to this car as well. Like, I've been driving a lot of different small rental cars, and I just kept coming back to the Mazda 2 saying, I really like this car, and I couldn't quite figure out why until I saw a video explaining what this Jinbai Tai business is all about, and I went, I really do feel as one with this car. Like, you can kind of drive this car using the force, and it just tele it communicates everything you need to know straight to you. And it's just a really nice car to drive. It's really communicative, despite the slightly dead electric steering rack. There's not much you can really do about that. But for an electric rack, it's not bad. So I have taken an automatic Mazda 2 through some mountain roads, and it was fun. However, the manual transmission does make a big difference. This car is just that much more fun. Through the city it's more fun because it's easy to drive and there's something extra to do. Here, even though I'm not shifting that often because of the tightness of this road, when I do, it feels fantastic compared to just like tapping a lever, you can actually go in and then clutch, try and heel toe, put it in a second, and then boom, you're off. This car is so fun with this manual transmission. Ah, oh, don't buy this car with an automatic unless you have to. The automatic is a fine choice, but this manual is so sweet. The only thing that I have to complain about in this car is the fact that we have a little organ pedal for the gas pedal and what that means is it's a little difficult to heel and tow this car. Uh, just that gas pedal's a bit too deep in there, and like the only way to properly heel tow is if you're braking hard enough. Otherwise, you're, you really have to dig your heel in to hit the gas pedal properly to rev match those downshifts. Uh, you can buy a little aftermarket kit for the gas pedal to kind of bring it up a bit more, and that will solve that problem. And if I do buy one of these cars, it's probably the first thing that I'm going to do. Okay, we're now on a bit of road where I can stretch this engine a bit. And it's fantastic. I mean, the regular Mazda 2 engine is already really good, but since this one's tuned for premium gasoline, gives you several more horsepower and it revs a bit smoother. So it genuinely just feels good when you rev it out. It's such a good power plant. And it's not that powerful. You're not gonna go fast. However, it feels fast because that engine just loves to rev and it delivers back to you in feel. So this car feels really quick. It sounds really quick, but it's not gonna get you thrown into jail for speeding too much. It's kind of perfect in my book. And as you go around these tight turns, this car feels fantastic. The electric steering, yes, it could give you a bit more feedback and feel, but for an electric rack, this is really good. 
It's very confidence inspiring and the Mazda 2 chassis itself is just so good through these turns. I mean, it's raining right now and I just have no fear attacking these turns because it's so confidence inspiring. This is such a fun, capable little city car. So compared to a Mazda MX-5, is this as fun? Of course not, but it was never meant to be. Is it close enough? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this kind of has that same amount of fun. It's just not rear wheel drive and just, you know, there's bits here and there that, you know, just obviously the MX-5 is going to be more fun. However, if you just remember, this is a small, cheap city car. This is an absolute laugh out here. So the more proper comparison is this 15 MB compared to a Suzuki Swift Sport. Is this as fun as a Suzuki Swift Sport? Yes, absolutely. Uh, in fact, I think this is more fun than the new turbocharged Swift Sport simply because you can really rev out the engine on these tight roads where that turbocharged engine in the Swift Sport was a little too powerful where you couldn't rev out the engine without severely breaking the speed limit. In terms of feel and everything, yeah, this is a good rival for the Swift Sport. It's not as capable. I will admit that because that does have sport suspension, etc., etc. This is on standard Mazda 2 suspension, so it's not going to be as good. However, if you do put some aftermarket shocks on this, it's going to be fantastic. Mazda has designed an incredible chassis, which is probably why they said, here's a motorsports-based version. Please strip it out and make it a race car because it deserves to be one. So overall, I really like driving this car. In the city, it's brilliant. It's comfortable, it's reasonably quiet, and, you know, it's practical enough. Um, obviously, if you want a truly practical car, there's things like the Honda Fit, etc., that will give you more space, etc. However, a Honda Fit is not gonna handle like this. It's not gonna have an engine that revs like this. It doesn't have a six speed manual anymore. This is such a good little driver's car. And it really lets you know that whole Jinbai Tai thing that Mazda keeps talking about because I do feel at one with this car in the same way I feel at one with a Mazda MX-5. It's all the controls feel great. It's very driver focused. All the feedback from the steering and all the inputs, etc. This is an excellent driver's car, especially on a road like this. This is so much fun. Like, I genuinely want one of these cars just because it's so fun, it's practical enough, it gets fantastic gas mileage. Ah, uh, <laughs> it, it's a definite contender for when I buy a car. And as much as I love the Mazda MX-5, this is getting there on the fun level and I can sit four people in the car and I can get some Costco in here and it gets better gas mileage. Ah, uh, is the MX-5 that much more fun to make me say, screw the practicality, let me get a sports car? I don't know, I think I need to back to back them, but given how fun this car has been today, maybe I might just get one of these because I may regret getting the sports car and then, you know, a few friends of mine want to go somewhere and I can only take one of them, etc, etc. This is such a good car, so maybe the adult in me will choose this.